Turnbull's on the mound for the Tigers today, trying to keep these Guardians tamed a little bit, as well as every other pitcher in this rotation. Up the middle, Baez is there. Nifty glove work to retire Quan. Take a look at where Javier Baez is right up the middle. That ball is smoked, but Baez right there. The 2 2. Struck him out. That's 95 with life. Here's the 2 0 to Ramirez. A flare to left. Baez catches up to it and makes the grab. One, two, three, go the Guardians. Towing the rubber for the Guardians today will be Cal Quantrill, searching for his first victory in 23. He, uh, his last start came against Washington, who went six innings, gave up six hits and three runs allowed. First ball swinging, a fly ball in the center field. Miles Straw back a few strides and makes the catch for out number one. The pitch swung on, foul tip, caught by Zanino after he bobbled it. Good rebound. Yeah, he popped up in the air off, off the glove, and then what do you know? He stays right there with it, picks it out of midair. And it is swung on, hit in the air to left, and Quan there to make the grab, and it's a quick inning. He made seven pitches that inning. And Carpenter has a leadoff single here in the second. Akil Badu, this might go. be two. There's one. Back to first. No, not in time. Naylor did a heck of a job to scoop the low throw. Well, See if the Guardians challenge us. It well, was they, really close. They're going to challenge it. If he's on the base, it looks like that ball goes in the glove before that foot. Calling the field's overturned. Runners out. Cleveland retains they the challenge. They overturn it. From right-hander Spencer Turnbull. No score. Good pitching again. Third straight game in this three-game series. The 0-2. The swing of the line drive. Glove to the leap. My Tyler Nevin at third. I thought that ball was going into left. Except Nevin was there with the backhanded leap to take the hit away. One and two to Ramirez. You see the frustration on Ramirez's face. He's not happy with some of the swings he's taking against this Tigers pitch. I think he's really starting to get frustrated. There's a pitch clock violation yes. on Ramirez and he's punched out. He wasn't ready by eight seconds. Home plate umpire Todd Tishner calls him out. Two away. And that's Ramirez guys just really when he missed that pitch, he walked around. He hit the bat on his foot. He was he's, he was disgruntled. He's upset with the fact that he's missing too many pitches and kind of lost track of the time. Two up and two down. That will bring up Gabriel Arias. And Arias draws a walk. That's the second issued by Turnbull. Comes with two outs here in the fifth inning. Mike Zanino, the pitch to him. In tight that hit him. Came up and in. Looked like it got him on that. Front arm, the left arm. So he's a hit batsman, and, and there it is, the first base runner in scoring position in this game. It'll be Gabriel Arias who moves up 90 feet to second. Miles Straw at the plate. He was really trying to go to right field in his at bats in game one yesterday. First pitch here, he swings and hits a fly ball to right field. Carpenter a few steps to his left, makes the easy grab, and after a little hiccup into Turnbull, and goes right after Miles Straw and gets the easy fly ball out. So Quan. Draws the third walk. Andre Simenez has struck out, lined out. There Line you drive, go. Base hit, center field. Quan will have to stop at second base. That was a good at bat. But you've got a really good start to the inning now. Very good at bat for Jimenez. With two on, nobody out, no score. Well, I tell you what, you got an angry man at home mm -hmm. plate right now, Jose Ramirez. His last time up, the third strike was a pitch clock violation. And it is swung on. This is hammered high, deep to right, gone. Jose Ramirez. Now that's how you get revenge for a pitch clock violation. Strike three. He absolutely unloaded his second home run on this road trip, his second home run of the year. And the Guardians have a 3 0 lead. And boy, oh boy, oh boy. Have they desperately needed a big swing in this series, and they get it from Jose Ramirez. This is Matt Vierling leads off the Tigers sixth, then it'll be Nick Maton and Riley Green. Vierling drives on to right center field. That's going to get up the alley. He'll dig for two. It's a leadoff double for Matt Vierling here in the sixth as the Tigers try and respond. Nick Maton stands in. A fly out and a ground out for Maton. Oh, man, what a job. Quantro comes back. And strikes him out. Third strikeout for Cal Quantrill. Eight two down, runner at second, sixth inning. Two outs, it brings up Javi Baez. Sharp lead to short, glove nicely by Arias. No play at first. The Tigers have two men aboard now. But he saved a run from scoring. Arias at short, dove towards second, and made a tremendous diving grab by keeping that ball on the infield dirt. 
Veerling could only get to third and couldn't have been able to score had it gotten into the outfield. Detroit's on the board. So runners at the corners for the Tigers. And Kerry Carpenter, a home run threat. Right back up the middle. Cal knocks it down. Recovers. Throws him out. And he might be really hurt. He's limping his way. He does not want to have to hang out there on the field. And hopefully he's okay. Well, Quantrill is one tough customer. His day may be over. But he just saved Detroit from scoring at least a run and hopefully not hurt seriously. Trevor Steffen, new pitcher for the guards. Steffen, that mid-90s fastball, splitter, slider. One away in the Tigers' seventh. Here's Spencer Torkelson, a walk and a double. Fly ball, deep left field. That ball is blasted out of here. Torkelson goes yard for the second time this year to get Detroit on the board. Oh, my. That ball jumps off his bat, and he knew right away that ball was way back. Pinch hitter, Zach McKinstry, who went two for four in game one yesterday. McKinstry drives one right field. That's a bullet, and that ball's gone. That move worked, didn't it? First is a Tiger. Pinch hit home run off Karen Chak to start the eighth. And the Tigers now within one, trailing three to two. We'll see if Class A can save his sixth of the year. And the Tigers now have two on and nobody out. And here comes Spencer Torkelson. Going the other way. And a catch by Brennan for out number one. You've got Carpenter at second. But do it first. One out. Here's Tyler Nevin. Slowed it down, popped him up. This is trouble, though. A sliding catch by Brennan saves the day for the moment. It was Brennan, Jimenez, and Straw all in shallow right. Not hit hard, but it almost found a hole. Eric Haas, the batter, last hope. A swing by Haas, and he sends a fly ball. Shallow left, Quan's there, makes the catch, ball game. Four straight one-run games played by the Guardians. They stopped their three-game skid with a win here this afternoon.